we are going to learn how with the help of this sensor we can control this SSR and with the help of this SSR we can turn on and off the load first we will learn what is SSR full form of SSR is solid state relay which means it is a type of relay you may have seen this type of relay by providing low voltage in this relay heavy voltage loads are turned on and off in this way we also use the contactor to switch on and switch off the heavy load like these two devices SSR also works if you provide 3 volt to 32 volt DC input power supply to this SSR which means to operate this relay if we provide 32 volt DC maximum supply our relay starts working after the input is supplied the load connected at output terminal will turn on you will understand clearly later in this video as you can see this indication here if it is not proper then look in this another SSR here you can see an indication clearly this indication will only glow when you supply input power if DC input power is supplied this indication will glow the SSR which I have now is manufactured by CNC company you can also see the model number here there are many advantages in using this type of SSR friends whenever you see a contactor or a relay we need to supply rated voltage to operate suppose if you want to operate this contactor you have to provide 220 volt AC power supply but in case of SSR even 3 volt input is sufficient to operate in this contactor a moving part is present sometimes this moving part does not work properly sometimes dust particles accumulated inside which affects this moving part but in case of SSR no moving part is used SSR is made by the use of semiconductor by the help of these semiconductor SSR can be used anywhere along with this if you switch on contactor a sparking is observed but in case of SSR no sparking occurs mainly SSR are used in such places where risk of fire accidents are high suppose your company has a petrol tank from which petrol is carried to other places through pump since petrol is present so we cannot take the risk of sparking so in this condition SSR is used because there is no chance of sparking this SSR switches very fast which means as soon as it gets power supply output is generated contractor takes time in this process but SSR do this instantly the moment this relay gets input command it generates output instantly the only disadvantage of using a solid state relay is when heavy loads are connected with SSR the SSR gets heat up and to avoid this heat heat sink is to be placed at the back side right now I can't show you because I don't have you can see the picture shown in this video friends we use SSR with temperature controller or PID controller also in the back side of PID controller you will find two terminals from which you can connect SSR directly with the help of SSR you can switch on or off the heater or whatever the load is this SSR which I have now requires very simple connection with the help of this relay I will switch on or off this lamp to provide power supply to lamp I will use plug top of which I already connected two wires I will use this blue wire as phase supply and I am going to connect this wire in SSR with terminal number one this means phase supply is connected at this point to provide phase supply to this lamp I already connected a wire now I will take this wire and connect to the terminal number two in this way now I will use this black wire for neutral power supply and I will directly connect this wire with the lamp friends right now I am explaining single phase SSR connection the connection for three phase SSR will be explained in some other video you can now learn only about single phase SSR connection now I will connect this plug top with this power socket after this if I switch on the plug the lamp won't be turned on the lamp is not on because power supply from here is not supplied to this point you can see that power is supplied to this point but not at this point we need power supply at this point for lamp to glow to operate this relay DC power supply is to be provided 
at terminal number 3 and 4. If you want lamp to be always remain on, directly connect DC power supply in this terminal. But if you want to control the power supply, a sensor or push button or anything you want to use, you can connect here. For now, we will understand through this sensor. This sensor which I have now is NPN NO type which means output command is NO. You can see how to do the connection. Positive power supply is provided to brown wire, negative power supply to blue wire and we will get output command in black wire. To operate this sensor which I have now, first we need to give DC power supply to this sensor and for that I am using SMPS. SMPS is a device which converts AC power supply to DC power supply. In this SMPS, you can see L is written here and N is written here, which means single phase power supply is connected in both these terminals. Here, earthing is to be connected. When we give single phase power supply here, this means SMPS will give 12 volt output power supply. Here, we get positive power supply and here negative power supply. The knob is provided here through which voltage is adjusted by rotating. I already connected this SMPS with single phase power supply. Only we have to do is take brown and blue wire of sensor and connect it with SMPS. Brown wire is for positive power supply and blue wire for negative power supply. So I will take these wires and connect with positive and negative terminal respectively. Whenever an object comes in front of this sensor, it will generate output command in black wire. I connected a TB with this black wire for proper connection. The output from here is connected with relay. Before connection, you should keep in mind which type of sensor you are using. If NPN is used, you will get negative power supply as output and in PNP, positive power supply as output. I am using NPN type so I will get negative power supply. I am using this small piece of wire and connect with terminal box. The other end of the wire is to be connected with negative terminal of SSR. On this three number terminal positive power is to be supplied and for that one more wire is connected with positive terminal of SMPS and other end of wire is connected with this terminal of SSR. So friends. Control wiring of SSR through this sensor is completed. Now, if I place object in front of sensor, the lamp will be turned on. And on removing the object, the lamp will turn off. You can see as soon as the object comes near to sensor, the lamp is on. How fastly the switching is going on. You can also observe that no sound is coming in operating SSR. Like when you use contactor, knocking sound occurs. Friends, I hope you like the video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe.